There are a lot of things you can make with a 3D printer that are cool and decorative, like this rocket over here, or these flower pots, maybe even some calipers you might need in a pinch if you have a project that you've got to undertake. But what are some of the most useful 3D prints that I've had over the past couple of years of 3D printing? That's what we're gonna talk about today, so let's get into it. I'm Brian Lovett, this is all your tech. The first one on my list is the Amazon Echo Dot holder. This comes in handy because otherwise I would have to have this Echo Dot sitting out on the counter someplace, maybe perhaps out in the open with a cord laying everywhere, and this just keeps that cable nice and organized while being able to mount it to the wall and have it in a nice enclosed case. I've got one of these in the garage and in the kitchen. For the garage, it's great because I can listen to music. And in the kitchen, of course, I mostly use it when I'm cooking, reminders to take out the trash, that sort of thing. So it really comes in handy and it just cleans up the aesthetic of the kitchen. Next up is a smart home helper. We've got these Philips Hue remote switches in most of our bedrooms. And the problem with them is that they don't have a cover that goes over the light switch. So if somebody turns off the light switch, you can't actually use your smart lights. So this 3D print covers the original light switch. It screws directly in where the original screws went and it allows the Philips Hue remote to just snap right over the top of it with no additional modifications, no gluing, no anything. It's pretty handy. Third on the list is one of my favorites, my home gym, the Tonal. The Tonal Smart Home Gym really changed our lives over the course of the pandemic and the last couple years using it. It allows us to work out in the comfort of our own home. One of the problems is, in order to get an accessory hanger, it costs several hundred dollars. So what I did instead is purchased a floating shelf, and then I 3D printed these hangers that work with the tonal accessories. You can easily just snap these in. to hang up your barbell, your cables, and your rope with no problem. Next up on the list is one that I actually designed myself. This is a Tiki torch holder. You've probably seen this in my videos comparing PLA and PETG. And what this does is just allows me to hang up these extra solar lights on the sides of my hot tub and my pergola. And it's just a nice clean design that I happen to like quite a bit. This is one of those cool ideas where I have to use these 3D printed calipers. I measured out the opening and in Fusion 360, I created these wall sconces in probably under an hour had them 3D printed and then out there on the hot tub. They've been out there for going on two or three years now. Haven't had any problems as long as you print them out of PETG and they've stood up to the test of time. Staying on the outdoor theme, the next one on the list has to be my hydroponic towers. I found these on Thingverse and I've been using them for going on two growing seasons now. I use these both indoors and outdoors and man, the amount of vegetables and the diversity of vegetables you can grow in these are truly amazing. I printed these out of PETG and I've had these, as I said, growing outdoor in the summer heat and indoor during the winter. Both times I haven't had any problems with these. They definitely something that is a fun project for the family. It allows you to grow a pretty large garden in even the smallest of areas. And it's just something fun to do. Wi-Fi access points, man. All right, finding the ideal location to have your Wi-Fi access points can be a real struggle. In my case, I had these hidden in windows or behind books, just not in ideal places. So my Wi-Fi signal as a result suffered. By 3D printing these wall mountable hangers for my Asus Wi-Fi access points, I was able to put these out in the open in the ideal locations boost my internet signal, and get better coverage throughout my entire house. Not only that, it nicely hides all the cables and it leaves you with a clean aesthetic that you don't mind having out in the open too much. 3D printing and virtual reality go together fantastically. Back when we got our first VR headset, the HTC Vive, I printed out a controller hanger that I could mount to the wall. It was really nice and simple to use and it left things nice and tidy. Now I've picked up a Vive Pro 2. I printed out this nice VR hanger. I also have a pair of valve knuckles. And so those snap in there nicely and I've modified it so that I can use wireless magnetic charging with it so that you can just dock these in there, have them charging, and then you just snap them out and you're ready to play. Something my wife and I use on an almost daily basis are these SpaceX coasters. 
These are fun to print. You can print them in multiple colors, multiple materials, and it's something that's always sitting on our desks. And that leaves us with one of my personal favorites, my orchid pots. I created these using Fusion 360 probably three or four years ago. And the reason I created these is most of the time when people have orchids from the store, they tend to die. And that's because the pots that they come in are suboptimal. See, orchids out in nature, they actually grow in kind of the crux of trees, the little elbows of a branch, something like that. And because of that, their roots actually need oxygen and sunlight so that they can grow and thrive. And so I designed these to be semi-transparent. You can see these holes, the mesh system all over the side. Then they also hold quite a bit of water in this water tray, so I don't have to worry about watering them more than, say, once a week. These are printed out of PETG, as most of my prints are, and it's something that's been really functional. This one had an orchid in it for a good two plus years, until that orchid outgrew that pot. This was my four inch design, and so I 3D printed these five inch pots. And actually they flare out to closer to six inches here in the center. But as you can see, this orchid's nice and healthy and happy, and it's got plenty of room to grow started printing these out for family members. I've got these going to my mom for Christmas. She's got six or seven orchids, and so I've got a whole bunch of them over here that I've been 3D printing for. That's really the power of 3D printing is that you can take those things from concept to reality in such a short period of time. So these I'm gonna share on my website. In the past, I had these behind a Patreon wall, but you know what? It's time for me to share with the entire community, and so I'll have both these designs out on my website and linked in the description below. And that leads me to the final 3D print. All right, this one's a stretch in saying it's a useful print or something functional, right? But it was such a cool project to undertake. I spent about three months on it with my son. He's 11 years old and he wanted to be Iron Man for Halloween. So we 3D printed this entire Iron Man suit. We integrated an Arduino microcontroller into it, servos for the helmet, lights for the eyes, blasters in the hands, you name it. It was a really fun project to undertake and it was a ton of work, don't get me wrong, but it kind of showed some of the cooler, more creative things you can do with 3D printing and how you can make something special for somebody else and kind of make their day. That's my updated list. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to dive deeper into any of these projects or if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Happy 3D printing.